Um, this is Susie. Susie's a Pomeranian. A lot of, a lot of years ago, they, these used to be wolves, not Pomeranians in general, but dogs. And what we did with toy breeds is we made them, bred them to be very small. And sometimes when we did make them, make them uh, breed them to be so small, their bones are so small that they get deformed. And you can see Susie's little foot just tweaks in. It should go back this way. Um, but that would be the normal thing as this corpus bends backwards. But her, her little foot bends sideways. So this whole bone is bending sideways and all these bones are broken down. Now I can feel this bone. That's what she's actually walking. She walks on and this thing, she just kind of flops this out and catches herself, to flops it out. But it really doesn't work like a normal wrist and it's pretty well broken down now. Goes sideways. But you know what, look at her. Does that hurt? It's just so broken down, you don't care. Now this one is also very knuckled. You can see, you can see it's uh, got a bump there and, and it's floppy. She just, and I'll show you how she walks. She just kind of uh, walks, flops that up best she can and that wrist joint holds her, holds her a little bit. This one's got some arthritis in it, but she, um, She's flopping this wrist joint up and she's kind of, uh, she's lost a lot of control to the lower part of her foot. So when, when you, when Susie walks, though, I mean, you'd think, you'd think, the poor thing, she shouldn't have to go through this, but I mean, look at her. Susie, Susie. Come here. Come here, Susie. Come here, good girl. Come here, good girl. I know, you don't want me to. Come here, Susie. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you're a sweet girl. So, what do you do? Surgery is really hard on these little dogs because they have really, really tiny bird legs. And my clients don't have that kind of money to do thousands of dollars of surgery. So, we're just going to put a support wrap a small support wrap on both these legs in order to see if that will help her uh, not put so much weight on that defective joint. Does that sound like a plan? She says okay. I didn't record the video of Susie trying to walk around the splints because I had gotten a busy but um, it, she didn't, he, she hated it. She looked at me like, are you crazy? I walked around better before you put these darn things on. Animals are wonderful role models and are always an inspiration to me. They face problems with just a single-mindedness because if they are eating well and pooping and peeing and being loved, um, they don't worry so much about what they look like or what's happened to them. They just go on with it. And that's always been a role model to me. And sometimes I'll feel kind of crummy in my practice and I'll be whining about this or that and then I look at some of my patients with medical problems and I'll think you know thanks for giving me that point life isn't that bad <laughs> look what you're going through talking about the Pomeranian uh, originally from Poland and there which it was used to be called Pomerania the area and they were from a Spitz type German dog and we bred small little dogs back in Queen Elizabeth's day so we could have them in the house. And they were pretty and their fur was colorful or fluffy. But when we take a wolf, like you see in the picture, we make a Pomeranian with little tiny bird legs and joints that aren't the same, they often get m medical problems and joint problems. So we all have to accept that purebreds like bulldogs and shepherds and labs will all have their associated genetic problems. So when you buy a purebred, just remember you're buying, you're buying centuries of turning the dog in, or thousands of years of turning the dog in from a wolf type creature into the small little dogs like pugs or bulldogs or Pomeranians or some of the cute beautiful little dogs we have today. But these dogs are kind of mutants. They're not 
made the same as a wolf. Uh, nature didn't, didn't, by natural selection, didn't select the body type because it was successful like it usually does. It was humans and we make some mistakes like what we've done with the bulldog lately. It can't breed, breathe very well. It can't breed very well. It doesn't move very well. So we have to take responsibility for some of the medical problems that we've bred into our uh, purebreds. So if you uh, if you really want just a low maintenance dog, always consider uh, rescuing a, a, a mixed breed from your shelter. They make wonderful pets. And do check out Dog Dish Diet. I get more and more people trying my they're learning from my book about what treats not to feed, what ingredients to feed in commercial food, or f from uh, how to cook slow cook food uh, and, and make dog skin and ear problems better, bladder problems, and even prevent seizures. Well, have a great day.